In this video, I am going to try and survive a hundred days on Path of Titan's official servers. Will I be able to traverse the lands alone to survive and get through battles that may potentially end in my death? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Adam Doctor, and this is Path of Titan Survival Challenge. Considering that I played a low tier in the last video, I decided that in this video, I wanted to go with a mid tier. And the one with highest survival potential in my opinion? Pfft, not Allosaurus, but we're gonna play it anyways. After completing the tutorial cave, I started off on my adventure. And also spawned in a less than ideal location. At least the quests in this location aren't too bad, but for an Allosaurus, this place is less than ideal. For you see, Tried fall are way too close to one of the major hotspots like Grand Plains and Crater. This is bad news for solo juvies, and enemies I definitely spotted. Some that would definitely not hesitate to kill me. Oh, that's an Achillo. Okay, he's running the other way. I should be safe, but... I, I need to visit this home cave, um, maybe I should just hide out in the forest, maybe. While trying to stay as hidden as I possibly could, I finished my quest in the area, and then I decided to head eastward. Unfortunately, even just traveling proved to be quite the task. Even if I dodged a major hotspot like Crater and Grand Plains, Whitecliff aren't exactly the loneliest place on the map either. And most likely due to them being close to Crater, the area around this western part of the map, well, let's just say they are bound to have a few players there. In social gatherings, paranoia won't do you any favor. However, when you're out surviving, it might end up saving you. In my case, even the single glimpse of a Pachycephalosaurus was enough to make me flee. Was it friendly? Was it not? Who knows? The Pachycephalosaurus has a bit of reputation, one that is enough for me to not trust it. Lucky for me, this Pachy was more interested in delivering its flowers, but what troubled me was the fact that this herbivore might have a herd somewhere close by, so I was out of there. Morning came, and I finally started to arrive at the locations where I would be more familiar with, or at least a bit more safer in. For the following days, I would do nothing but to quest, a quest, and well, you guessed it, even more questing. At the sign of any danger, I would take cover and hide. In the juvenile stage, there weren't any action going on. I was too young to start trouble, and I prioritized being safe. This continued all the way to adolescent, and when I reached adolescent, I had played almost 10 in-game days, meaning IRL I was tired, so I decided to log off. When I finished and logged off, I could sense that this is definitely going to be a tiresome challenge. Mostly because of, and I need to come clean about something, in the last video I said that one day in Battle Titan was 45 minutes. That wasn't the case at all. I had taken information from another game, a Roblox game could you believe it, and applied it to Path of Titans. I didn't notice this until Viking pointed it out to me because he recognized the title, so now I had to figure out the actual time for a Path of Titans day and night cycle. And it wasn't actually that difficult to figure out. All I needed to do was to just open up a private server, after of course I checked that all the server setting was on default, I opened it, I went on the admin panel, scrolled down to where you can see time of day, and then turned the clock to midnight. 
Then I just had to set up a timer that all I needed to do was just wait until one day had passed. I must admit this might not have been the most precise solution. I made note of certain parts of the day like noon and I did figure out that half a day was around about 40 minutes or so. I must admit I wasn't fully paying attention, I had YouTube playing on the other monitor. However, after a day had passed, I ran it out that it was about 80 minutes. 40 minutes daytime, 40 minutes nighttime. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that this video took a long time to create, so if you like this type of content, please show your support to the channel. And with that, let's go to day 10 of this challenge. And you know what that means, we now have to do our first task. For those who doesn't know, let me explain. For every 10th day of this challenge, I will receive a task. When received, I will have to the next task or 10 in-game days to complete it. And if I don't complete it within the time, I lose and the video ends. Also, if I receive any task that comes with conditional how I can play, any new task overrules the old task. First task, baby. What will it be? Now, let's see. Kill a carnivore. Huh. That shouldn't be too bad, like, I mean... If I can maybe find a Julia or something, it shouldn't be too bad. Slight problem there, past me. Remember that you're just a fresh adolescent yourself? Obviously, trying to fight something as just a fresh adolescent wasn't too smart of an idea. At least the odds of winning any fights weren't too good. However, considering that I had 10 in-game days to complete this challenge, I decided I should at least be a sub-adult. At least that way, my odds of winning any fights should be a bit better. But as one would expect, trying to survive and grow on your own are no easy task. Oh, and just in case if you didn't know, on Path of Titans official servers there are no passive growth. The only way for you to grow is by completing in-game quests that at completion will grant you a bit of growth. This means that there will be no bush camping, there will be no limited movement. If I want to grow, I have to move from place to place completing quest in that specific area and after a time accumulate enough growth to grow into an adult or in this case my goal sub-adult after a long time I finally did it I managed to grow into a sub-adult I had also teamed up with another younger Allosaurus just so you know I could receive some extra growth by group questing with him he didn't speak in chat or anything, so I wasn't too attached to him, so I planned to eventually use him as bait or, well, just after I killing him. He too is a carnivore, so killing him would also complete my task, but I decided to lay off for now. Besides, I did feel a bit bad teaming up with this player just to betray him later on. Think he might have noticed my intention since he logged off not long after. Lucky for me, I spotted a chance for me to fulfill my task, with one day to spare. One Achillivator was trying its luck against a sub-adult Dinochirus. Of course, my expectations of one Achillivator killing off that Dinochirus were pretty low, so I decided to lie low and wait, and then tackle the Achillivator once he was low. Unfortunately, the Achillo saw me, and after taking a beating from the duck, he started running away, so I needed to speed up to make sure that I didn't lose him. Unfortunately, I lost him. We're seeing this from third person perspective with a bird's eye view, so it wasn't that clear in first person. Lucky for me, I had eyes in the sky. The snitch bird spotted the tail of the Achillivator underneath a rock arch. To my surprise, there weren't one Achillivator. There was two, which drastically changed my plans. I could probably take one Achillivator in a fight, but two could be a bit too difficult. However, instead of attacking me, they just ran, so I gave chase. One was injured from the fight with the Dinochirus, so that might have been the deciding factor. After all, I was still just a sub-adult Allosaurus, they could probably take me on. 
and they also probably thought that I was grouped up with the Talmadromius. Unfortunately for me, they were both too fast and had more stamina than me. I had to conserve my stamina, and I had hoped I could utilize the bird to keep an eye on them so I wouldn't lose them. I could probably run into hot springs or a desolate pass. Either way, that Thalmajomius will keep an eye on them. My prediction almost went correctly, but what I didn't predict was that they would go into a hole, a hole which I haven't even spotted, and just ran by like an idiot. Having lost track of them, and also being just too big to fit in the hole, I had no other choice but to give up this hunt. After spending time and energy on growing and on a failed hunt, I decided to log off for the day. And the next time I logged in, I received quite a surprise. Wanna go, buddy? An adult Ceratosaurus. Whoa, whoa, you're bigger than I am. I was oh. still just a sub-adult, so I was a bit hesitant if I should really fight this. But the potential reward Dude. was too tempting. You know Screw it. Now whenever. Oh. Oh, that's a chuck, right? That was a completely swing and a miss. Despite him being an adult and me just being a subadult, I was still bigger, so I should have the advantage in overall damage I put. Ah, I just needed to watch out for that charge bite. Uh, okay, that kick wasn't too bad actually. Charge bite, however. Shoot. Oh yeah, that child bite is dangerous. Got you, buddy. Got you bleeding. Oh shoot, my stamina. Damn. I'll make. I'll like to make sure that it doesn't uh, stop bleeding. Ow. Okay, uh, we both took some damage there. Oh, he he looks more messed up than I do. Okay, that was some soul hits. Just to, have to make sure that he doesn't stop moving. There. Now he's not being. Oh, he's jumping now. He's not. Oh, 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 you little bugger. It was now a standstill. He was in a position I couldn't move to. If I were in his position, I would be stuck, and any fall damage would be lethal. Lucky for me, the lethal fall damage wasn't just lethal for me. Oh, you're dead. How did you die? Did you die from bleed or fall damage? Well, I don't care. I'ma take this trophy and I'ma grow to adult. 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 A. A. And on that horrible note and lyric, it became day 20, which means next task. Day 20. Let's see what the world wants me to do this time. Maybe commit some war crimes or just a massacre. Let's find out. Oh. Well, I guess that's just poetic since the last uh, task were kill a carnivore. Now I had to kill a herbivore. Hey, at least I'm a carnivore, so it kind of makes sense. Kind of. I healed up my wounds and returned to my usual hunting areas, and if you couldn't tell, my hunter area consists of the places between Hunter's Thicket and the Crater. You see, Hunter's Thicket is a location where people usually spawn, 
And while it is still somewhat of a hotspot, it's still nothing compared to the crater and Grand Plains. And to get to those places, you will have to traverse through either Hot Springs, Desolate Pass, and or Savannah Grassland. Meaning that these places are ideal to ambush any traveling creatures. Of course, you can't just attack anybody. Anyone who travels in big groups are usually a no-go. And those that do travel alone aren't usually that easy to kill. Unfortunately for me, my task was to kill a herbivore, and a full-grown Marspolia isn't an easy target, so I spent a lot of time just waiting for an ideal target to pass by. Fortunately for me, my target had arrived. A juvenile Anodontosaurus. I will say, as much as I prefer a fair 1v1 battle, if I had to, I will have no problems killing a juvie. I have my circumstances that forces me to do so, and even if you lose some growth, you have all the time to regrow that back later, just not today. Time passed and I had already become an adult, meaning I would have no need to do any more quests. I spent my time being quiet and peaceful, just patrolling my areas, or just staying semi-AFK in the mountains in Desolate Pass. Since I didn't have any task nor did I have any goals, I saw no reason to cause any commotion. And with that, Day 30 arrived. Ah, oh, phew, I thought I had to start singing a song. Though I'm having trouble to believe that this is any better. Huh. Unpopular um, opinion, unpopular um, opinion, unpopular um, opinion. Um, um. The only way for United States to get rid of their obesity problem is to bring back fat shaming. Is that unpopular opinion or is that controversial topics? I don't know, either way, I, I must say that the task is completed. Again, in the days between 30 and 40, I didn't really do much. I just patrolled the same areas and I didn't start any commotions. I just went back to the mountains and just stayed semi-FK while watching YouTube videos. I know that some of you guys doesn't like it when I stay semi-FK during these challenges, but when you play this game for so, for so long, you kinda get tired of it eventually, so you need to take breaks once in a while. Eventually you might start wanting to see some action again, and before I even knew it, day 40 had arrived, and this time I <coughs> wanted some action. Okay, since I didn't get many too much action the last 10 days, this time I should get try and get make some content, okay? Okay. Let's let's hope to get something. Something good. Something good. Something Good? That's not something good! Having received a boring task, I decided to go and cause some commotions of my own free will. In this case, I picked a fight with a Pycnomimosaurus. You wanna do it? You wanna do it? Come on then. Damn, I don't have stamina. I... Chee. Don't, don't act so tough when you're the one running away. Ah, no. If I can, maybe if I can bait him. I don't have too much stamina, so I can't really get chased. That and he is fast. Oh. Damn, I didn't, I didn't put bleed on him, but I think I did a ton of damage on him. 
and that charge did barely anything on me. I thought it was stronger than that. After landing a bleeding attack on him, I decided to put more pressure onto him by keeping him moving. His faster speed was still a problem, but then I discovered that I do get a bit of a speed boost when I run downhill. Knowing this, I decided to take the high ground. Now I just have to bait him in. Success, but his speed was still a problem. My boy, come here, boy. Oh, ah, knock into the tree. No knock back for you. Boy, get it. Oh, come on, he's so low. He can't take me on a head-to-head -head battle. But damn. Uh, and he's running. To, he's running towards the hot springs. Damn. It. Is he planning to heal himself? Not on my watch. Then the fight came to a standstill, which I stopped because I wanted him dead. I wanted him dead now. Just one more bite, or at least two. Come on, get stuck on something. Log, rock, anything. <gasps> Son of a... Damn it. Maybe, maybe he's running towards a waterfall. Maybe I can... Maybe I can uh, juke him, get him stuck on something and... Maybe I can corner him. Oh, damn it, no. <sighs> Never mind. Yeah, this isn't worth it. If he wanna run, then he can run. After seeing that he was running towards Hunter's Thicket, I decided to let him go. I didn't want to go to a place where there were possibly KOSers and mixed packers. After the battle, I healed my wounds, and before I knew it, Day 50 had arrived. I want something, you know, maybe not as action packed. Well, well, actually, to be fair, when I go back on the footage and I uh, look at how I fought when the Pikno, my life was never truly in danger, but at the same time, Reluctantly, I made my way to Crater, and what do you know, when I first arrived, I was greeted by... with chaos. Fighting that only resembled a free-for-all, few bodies here and there. Ha, ah, good old Crater, am I right guys? Am I right? I've missed all the chaos. I can't believe I actually did receive some form of warm welcome. The duality of crater, I'd say. Quite interesting. Lucky for me, I seem to have arrived just at the end of whatever chaos had unfolded. And with that, I just helped myself to the spoils from the chaos. I began to clean up the water in crater to carry favor at all the residents. And to some degree it seemed to work. However, just being the cleaning crew aren't enough to prove one's allegiance. Lucky for me, my chance would arrive. A Picno decided to start some beef with the dads I had been friendly with earlier. Despite the Alio Ramis' efforts to try and calm both parties, a fight was guaranteed. At first I wasn't planning to get involved, but when I saw that the Sukumimus and everyone else started to attack the Dask, I thought that this was a perfect opportunity to prove my allegiance. Without any question in mind, I decided to help out the DASP, and I attacked the Suko. 
Knowing that the Sukumamas would have the advantage if we stay close to water, I had to lure him out. I had to lure him out further, but unfortunately for me, I found out the hard way that he has a better turning circles than me. To combat this, I now had to lure him to an area where his movement was more limited. But rather than doing that, I decided to see if my message was clear to the DASP. I had helped them, would they help me? Believing that we were now two against one, I took my chance. A chance I should have never taken. This goes to show that not every action done with good intention will end up with positive results.